Yeah. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, do you remember yung last uh, several days, yung operations namin, na nakuha kami ng 29 na subjects, five of which, or five of whom are foreigners, and then 24 are Filipinos. Ang sabi namin doon, meron kami ongoing follow-up operations. So ito yun. Uh, actually, they are uh, uh, operating within a high-end location, uh, the Heights, actually, golf course yan, sa Pampanga Clark. Um, medyo complex in the sense na alam nila kasi uh, masyadong private yung lugar. So definitely may hirapan yung law enforcement yung mga doon. But with the help ng ating in ISG, uh, yung Naval Intelligence uh, Security Group, uh, so we were able to uh, identify these uh, perpetrators. So they are engaged in uh, catfishing, uh, the Roman scam, sinasabi namin sa inyo na the investment fraud, uh, crypto fraud. Uh, uh, we were able to identify the mga scripts, yung nasa devices nila, live scripts, ongoing scripts. Um, at the same time, um, we were able to identify uh, yung kanila mga applications yung ginagamit. So, subject with our uh, digital forensic uh, examination, we will issue the final statement. Ito na yung full details nung kanilang uh, operations, day-to-day -day operations. Uh, also, the Deputy Director for Operations, as well as the Assistant Director for Investigation Services, yours truly, the Chief of Staff Director, will uh, be uh, holding this, this press conference. And we are proud to present to you uh, a very uh, significant accomplishment of our ever active cybercrime division under uh, Chief uh, Jeremy Lotok. And uh, the director is uh, extending its uh, his warmest congratulations to this uh, team. Uh, they are always heeding to the uh, call of our director to uh, combat cyber criminals in our country. And uh, in order to bring back the uh, lost glory days of the NBI, we can feel that the NBI is uh, improving since uh, day one that Judge Santiago came into our beloved institution.